Can a magnetic field make metal levitate? Let's see with MagLab technician, Joe Lucia. When an electric current is passed through a coil, it will induce a current into any conductive material placed in the middle of the coil. Resistance in the material will cause that induced current to create heat in the material. Here, we will be using our induction heater to levitate brass and aluminum spheres. Because of Lorentz's law, it is known that in a coil, a force will be generated against the metal balls in one direction when the field is generated. To keep the balls floating in space, a portion of the coil is reversed and wound in the opposite direction, which reverses the force inside the coil, pointing it in the opposite direction. By carefully balancing the current sent through the coils, the upward force of the bottom coil is counteracted by gravity and the opposite force from the smaller top coil, causing the ball to levitate inside the coils. This process can be very precisely controlled and nothing touches the part that is being heated. Here we can see what happens when the upward force is greater than the reversed coil and gravity. The aluminum sphere is ejected upwards through the coils. Induction heating is used for many things in industrial settings, such as heat treating or brazing. At home, Induction stovetops use this principle to heat pots and pans to cook your food. A coil under the surface of the stovetop induces a current in the bottom of the pan. The resistance of that material on the pan creates heat and cooks your food.